League of Legends' first champion of 2022 has released and it's the electrifying AD Carry Zeri. The spark of Zorn has piqued the interest of League fans as she has a very unique kit, featuring plenty of mobility and lots of skill shot based abilities, making the learning curve challenging and exciting. So let's dive into how she works and operates as well as some general tips and tricks to get the most out of her. Let's kick things off with her abilities. Her passive is Living Battery. This gives Zeri extra movement speed when shielded, as well as granting her her own shield when she attacks opponents that have one. Her Q is Burst Fire. This ability is an auto attack featuring an active and passive element. Her passive is a ranged lightning bolt that scales with AP, dealing more damage the more charge it receives. Her active is a burst of 7 rounds that deals physical damage with a slightly longer range. Her W is Ultra Shock Laser. This ability fires a laser in a straight line, dealing damage and slowing the opponent. When fired at terrain, the laser passes through the wall and the whip is expanded and distance extended. Her E is Spark Surge, which allows Zeri to dash a small distance, gaining movement speed. If activated onto terrain, she will vault and grind over it until she reaches the end. You can ride any terrain on the map, but you can't ride the terrain on the edges of the map. Zeri's ultimate is Lightning Crash. When activated, this releases an AoE Electric Nova, granting 3 stacks of overcharge for each champion hit. Each stack grants her movement speed, attacking a champion adds a stack of overcharge and refreshes its duration by 2 seconds. Overcharge grants Zeri 30-40% attack speed, on hit magic damage, and burst fire becomes a faster triple shot that chains to nearby enemies like Static Shiv. Let's talk about Zeri's gameplay. She's both blessed and cursed with extreme mobility. While it's a positive that she can be a slippery customer to lock down in fights, it also gives players the urge to charge into a fight unnecessarily and end up dying sooner than they should. During the course of the game, you'll want to max her Q as fast as possible as this is your main source of damage. Outside of your ultimate, you'll want to max out your E and then your W. First up, let's focus on the laning phase. Being a late game hyper carry, you need to ensure that you have a good laning phase to have any impact on the late game. That's why it's important to pick a good support and try to control the lane as much as you can. Zeri has a number of tools to help bully her opponents in lane. Her Q has a strong amount of range. Given that range and its power, it makes dealing damage easy. Not to mention she can store up a strong auto attack that makes farming very easy. You could also use your Q to influence your opponent's movement. By firing out your Q into well-placed areas of the lane, you can actually influence your opponent's movement and set them up for nice combos. You're not likely going to be able to all in your opponent, but rather poke and aggro them with your support until there's an opportunity to take them out. Your goal is to deprive them of any farm and XP wherever possible and try to convert your pressure into kills. I'd advise hanging around the river and use your W on the terrain to convert it to a much larger and more damaging attack. Here you'll also be able to use the terrain to make a swifter exit using E when a gank comes in from the jungler or things get too hot to handle. You can also use your W on the turret itself as this counts as terrain to attack any players hanging back behind it. When it is time to go in, use your E to dash in and use your Q and auto attacks to deal the damage. As well you can use your W to prevent them from getting away. As you progress into the mid game you'll start to stack up a few items and you'll want to participate in team fights and look to expand on your platform. If the fight is more focused on your teammates you can use this opportunity to just put down damage. Use your ultimate to stack overcharge, so you can get a much faster attack speed and deal a lot of burst damage. You also want to look to pick off any squishy opponents with your full combo to help give your team the leg up. Zeri isn't a safe player, as hard as you may try, some casualties are just part of the job. But it's your job to put down consistent damage. Remember, you're an AD carry and not to dash in crazily. Hang back until you see an opportunity to go in. If you manage to get a lead and find yourself roaming from lane, you'll be able to work with your team to isolate opponents by using your E to vault through terrain and create some great ganks. If you've fallen behind, stay safe and farm up where you can, only participating in fights by passively putting down damage and looking to pick up stray kills. As you reach the late game, if you're ahead, you should have the freedom to do what you want. If you're able to catch opponents out, use your E to get up behind squishy opponents and execute them. If your team's in a bit of a stalemate, you can use your E to quickly cross the terrain and help split push. Likewise, if you're behind, you can use your E to get around the opponent's jungle and farm or split push. In team fights, you'll want to wait for your team to initiate and force your opponents to use their best abilities. That's when you want to strike and deal lots of damage. Now let's talk about some of the combos you're going to see in action when playing as Zeri. 
The first is the basic burst combo. When the time comes and you have a full charge, you'll want to dash in with E for your movement speed buff and bullet penetration. Use your Q, followed by a charged auto attack. Use your W to deal damage and prevent them from escaping fast, followed by extra Qs where necessary. Next is your all in combo. Activate your ultimate with R, which works more effectively when opponents are in range. Dash to close the gap or create distance depending on the situation with E. This will again give you a movement speed buff and bullet penetration. Use W to slow, followed by Q with a fully charged auto attack and more Qs. This is a simple gank combo which is easy to pull off but very effective. As you grind the terrain with your E, you can use your W combo to create a larger blast and use it as an entry for your ganks. There's going to be a lot of people after Zeri, so here's a nice kiting combo that you can use. Use your Q to deal damage to any oncoming opponents as they get closer. Use E to continue to create space and give yourself a better position for a movement speed buff while activating W to slow them down. Deal damage while you kite with Q and if you need even more space use your Gale Force active to deal more damage and get further away. Then use your Q to deal more damage. Repeat this sequence once your E and W cooldowns reset. So who should you look to synergize with as your team and who should be your support? With Zeri, I would advise using champions like Lux, Nami, Lulu, Morgana, Leona or Karma. Anyone that can help you lock down opponents are going to be strong teammates to play with. If you're playing more passive, utilize champions that can provide a shield to proc your passive or champions that can heal you to sustain and lane. Zeri's also very good against champions like Lulu, Vayne, Caitlyn, Kaiser, Siva, Alistair, Nautilus and Braum. Any champions that can't easily get away from Zeri are at a straight up disadvantage as she'll get onto them and usually kill them in a favourable scenario. Equally those that require getting close to her to be effective will struggle against her range and escapes. Unfortunately Zeri struggles against champions like Zyra, Misfortune, Ezreal, Jinx, Ash and Samira. Champions that can gap close fast or quickly escape her grasp are difficult to deal with. She only has so many tools to work with to close that gap and deal damage that if she meets an obstruction in the way, she won't be able to finish the job. Not only that, if she's caught out by a slow or a stun, it's game over. The runes I would recommend focus on precision and sorcery. The precision runes are rather standard for AD carries with the sorcery helping to amplify Zeri's movement speed where possible. You'll want to take full advantage of Lethal Tempo's attack speed buffs and range in big team fights. Considering she's all about auto attack damage, giving her extra effectiveness and survivability against bulky opponents is crucial. When it comes to itemization, your star is going to be the standard Doran's Blade and Health Pots. Cull is a good option if you think you're going to struggle in lane and need to be more passive for the extra gold. Zeri builds like a typical AD carry, opting to go with one of the three mythic items. Kraken Slayer, Gale Force and Immortal Shield Blow are all solid but I feel Gale Force is better for the added mobility and kiting opportunities. Given Zeri is all about auto attacking, she can easily be collapsed on, so having an extra burst of movement does wonders for her escapes, but also helps her chase down enemies and increases her lethality. If you're against a tanky team, Kraken Slayer is a better option, while Immortal Shield Blow is best for trading against gap closers and in games where you're struggling to stay alive in normal gameplay. Your boots should be the Berserker's Greaves. These are the best choice to help reduce your Q cooldowns. Essence Reaver is the best third item simply due to the Sheen procs for your using your Q. This will add extra punch to your regular attacks and make you much more lethal. Assuming it's safe to do so, your next item to spike your damage up is Infinity Edge. I say assuming it's safe to do so because it depends on your opponents. You may find you need to grab armor penetration items like Lord Dominic's Regards or heal reduction items like Mortal Reminder. More often than not, you'll just be focusing on your core build and looking to blow up squishy players where possible. For your fifth item, you've got the damage, now we need to add some more attack speed in there. Runan's Hurricane is great for dealing damage to more targets at once, while Storm Razor is also a solid choice for more kiting and slowing enemy opponents. Again, it's worth noting you may want to analyse the situation just to make sure you get the right call. It may be you need to go for a quick Silver Sash to avoid the dreaded CC of death. If you trust your frontline, I'd opt for more damage as your last item, like a Bloodthirster for the sustain or Lord Dominic's regards for tanky teams. But you can never go wrong with the Guardian Agent for survivability. We hope you've enjoyed this guide, and if you did, do drop a like rating and subscribe for more League of Legends videos. And if you're looking to upgrade your setup to dominate in League of Legends with a new keyboard, mouse or headset, head over to rockat.com.